Delighted to have Mikel Arteta join us. Mikel, if you can, sum up your thoughts right now. Well, first of all, congratulate Manchester City. They are the champions. Uh, we came really close. We tried um, our best. Um, I think in general the season um, is very positive. But today is difficult because we really wanted to, to celebrate it. And, and we believe as well that we've done a lot when you look at all the stats uh, to end the right to win it. But um, it didn't happen. So um, unfortunately, we cannot give that, uh, that moment to our supporters. Mikel, just in terms of this season, how long will it take you to review and then maybe enjoy what you've done this season and then start planning for what you're thinking about next season? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So this week I will stay here, review a little bit everything that we've done and I start to decompress a little bit and, and then, yeah, for sure. My family, my people, they deserve some time. I think I deserve some time off as well. And, uh, and then recharge the batteries because we need to go again. Just on the, in terms of the game today, the atmosphere was kind of weird in here. Sometimes it was quiet, then it went crazy when they heard of West Ham's goal. Do you think that did get through to the players? And what did you say at halftime about that? Uh, we talked about it this morning. He said, we're going to play two games, our own game and the game that this crowd are going to be <laughs> playing, which are two games here and in Manchester. And emotionally, we have to live with that. And, uh, and yeah, you can sense it, what was happening. Uh, you, don't, you don't need a phone, you just, well, can, yeah, just yeah. can sense what is happening. Got it and wrong uh, a few times, by the way. <laughs> I know, me too, it was like 2-2 two, two, and it's not as well. Mickey, the, the way that I see the players and, and how you've behaved and the way they have performed, it feels like, even though you didn't lift a trophy, it feels like you have a champion's mentality. Can you speak to the mentality of the players? Yeah, we really wanted it. Um, I think... Uh, I think we have come to a different level this season. Uh, on top of that, we had to play the Champions League. It was the second contributive season against these guys. Uh, they haven't lost a game since the 6th of December in all competition. That tells you where the standards are. And, uh, and we're going to have to be better. We know that uh, if we want to now win, we're going to have to improve again. This is your first job, as we all know, and you've done quite a good job at it. I might ask. Would you, I know you're big mates with, with Pep as well. Was that, would that be something you would talk to him about, about the first win, getting the first win of the league? Are you that friendly with him on a, on a personal level? I think would you have a be, chat with him? You know, I think he would be in good humour today, so if I ask him today, he would give me any answer. No, but uh, seriously, is, that, is it something, because you, you've, you've not won a, a league title yourself, no. so it's something like this morning when you're going to address the players, how do you feel as a person and a, and a coach? I just try to be myself, obviously listen to the people around me. We have some people that have experienced here a lot of success uh, under Arsene as well. And, uh, and then deliver your messages, how you feel, try to transmit it, and then leave the space for them as well because it's their moment. Leave the space, that's a good point. Mikhail, congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time as always. Okay. Thank you, have we a good break. You. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, Mikhail. Thank happy you. summer. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.